Hello, good morning. I um, hope you're well. Um, I want to just talk briefly about the idea of uh, an enhancement circle. So there are a couple of uh, colleagues who have contacted me to suggest that they don't work in institutions that really value the enhancement of their practice. They don't feel particularly supported and what could they do? So I would suggest that one, one possible solution to get more collegial support to allow you to enhance your practice, which can also feel a little bit safer for you uh, as an individual, is to try and uh, find colleagues, arguably in different institutions or possibly in different faculties within the same institution, and form a, an enhancement circle. So you could have three, four, five colleagues, six even, in an enhancement circle. And the idea is that you share your audio or video recordings or your recorded lectures um, with those people in your circle and ask them for particular evaluative comments. So point, point to aspects of your practice that you think you really would like their advice and guidance on and ask them just to write 200 words um, to provide you with some written feedback or audio or oral feedback on that particular aspect of your practice on the understanding that you will do the same thing for them. So it becomes a kind of quite a supportive network of each person reviewing somebody else's uh, work, making comments on where they think their strengths and weaknesses in people's practices are. Um, and it, it, it frees you of any managerial oversight. Um, it frees you from any real disciplinary um, dimension too. It's very important to recognize that teaching enhancement is very often discipline independent. If, if you're teaching an undergraduate a particular concept or a particular notion, the chances are that your colleagues in a completely different discipline will either get it or they won't get it. If they don't get it, that might be that you're not explaining that concept very well if they do get it, you're doing a good job. So you don't have to necessarily find colleagues who are within your discipline to be able to feed back on the enhancement of your teaching practice. That's a very important uh, thing just to remember. So you don't necessarily need to have institutional colleagues. You could find colleagues in other networks outside of your institution. Um, I think it's important that you maintain the right level. So it is important that you work with colleagues who are teaching equivalent students, so both um, undergraduate students or postgraduate students um, or apprenticeships or you know, whatever particular domain you're in. So I would strongly recommend that if you work in an institution that doesn't have good institutional support for the enhancement of your practice, you really might want to think about setting up your own enhancement circles. Good luck and let me know how it goes.